At six, as the state scrambles to get ready for recreational marijuana sales, one Bay Area city has a plan to give convicted criminals priority when it comes to providing pot. KPX 5's Melissa Kane joins us now live from Oakland to explain this. Melissa? Yeah, Veronica, we're here in front of the Purple Heart Medical Cannabis Dispensary in Oakland. And when recreational cannabis sales become legal in January, places like this will be given priority. Now, another group that's going to get priority are Oakland residents who either live in a neighborhood where there's a large number of cannabis related arrests or have a cannabis related conviction on their record. Folks who belong in those categories are entitled to 50% of the permits for new cannabis businesses here. So when next time I invite you over to the house for, for a potluck, you know, I may mean uh, not just cooking, but doing other things at home. Oakland City Councilman Noel Gallo says when the city started looking into permitting legal cannabis businesses, they uncovered something surprising. We thought we only had eight businesses for a number of years, and so we wanted to grow it to 16. The medical dispensaries, and we found out in the process we had over 250 doing business, anyways, now owning warehouses in the homes. Uh, all over the city. So while the city keeps a tight leash on the number of dispensaries, they decided to make other businesses like growers legal so they can collect taxes and make sure they all follow building codes. But they also took the opportunity to bring Oakland residents into the business. 50% of all permits must go to what they call equity applicants. Kent is a business that is owned by someone that is an Oakland resident that makes no more than 80% of the average median income and either has a cannabis conviction arising out of Oakland, California, or lives in certain parts of Oakland, California that experienced uh, disproportionately high amounts of cannabis enforcement. Now, the program is the first of its kind in the nation after a study by the city showed disproportionate cannabis enforcement against African Americans. For example, in 2015, 71% of all cannabis arrests in Oakland were African Americans, while only 3% were white. And public health studies show that generally uh, all races use uh, cannabis to roughly the same degree. Uh, Claudia Mercado is getting ready to launch her own cannabis business. In January, she'll be a distributor. Now, she's born and raised in Oakland, but she's not an equity applicant. And we asked what she thinks of the one to one ratio for those equity applicants. By me showing up, I give a spot to an equity, per se. You know, so it's really a win-win for everybody. If, if somebody shows up here, but no, there's a vacancy here, then, then we're not in balance. So I feel like if you look at the numbers of Oakland, it's a really well-balanced program. Now, so far, things are actually working out pretty evenly. Of about 250 permit applications so far, about 50% are what they call general applicants, and 50% are these equity applicants. Also, we were told today that cities like San Francisco and Los Angeles are also looking to incorporate this equity applicant program into their local rules surrounding recreational marijuana sales. Live in Oakland, Melissa Kane, KPIX 5.